Welcome to Vectorworks 3D. We're going to be drawing this uh, little garden bench and before we get started with the tutorials on how you draw it, I wanted to go over just a few things that may bug you along the way and this hopefully will uh, take that that uh, off of your shoulders and you can just focus on, on drawing the bench. A few things that you're going to see that look different um, on uh, my view than your view and let's just start out with the bench itself once you get this drawn and you look at it in 3d and you render it um, the way I have it if you choose this as your color and, and I, what I would do is right up front since we let me get rid of this because I was just playing around with this and I think I'm having you set all of the um, fills at white now, the thing is, we don't have use it creation set up over here. So we can make the arms a different color. We can make the legs a different. We can do whatever we want to do. I, I wanted to give you the flexibility to make it whatever color you wanted. This could be uh, any color here. And as long as, here's my point, as long as when you start drawing, you come over here, de deselect so that nothing is selected, come over here and select one of these colors. Now I'm working under the classic Vectorworks colors down here. You could go to the standard Vectorworks colors. Um, right now I'm not, you know, that doesn't really affect this project at all. You can do whatever you want. You can do use any of these up here, any of these down here. Okay, but I'm using classic Vectorworks colors. And so just find a color that you like and then and make that the active um, fill and so it, it will then make whatever you draw it'll give it that fill color if I draw a, a rectangle here it'll have that fill okay so just do that up front um, before you start drawing and make sure you're deselected you've clicked off somewhere so that nothing is selected and then choose your color okay now a couple other things you're not going to see the shadowing if you choose the same uh, fill color as me, you won't see the shadowing because you haven't set up any type of lighting yet, which I've done on this. Uh, so don't worry about that. We're gonna we're gonna do that as we go along in the project. The second of all, you'll see this little save sheet um, menu up here. This allows me to. Uh, jump back and forth from the schedule to the parts to the 3d view to all which is everything um, you won't have that because you haven't set up those uh, saved views yet we are going to do that but I will be referring for example to parts so that I can get the dimensions and I can actually draw the bench what you will do is rather than go up go up here like me you will print off the plans that I provided to you on the website and you will you know print a copy and take do your take off off of the off of the uh, printed copy so that's a uh, sort of a main difference there just wanted to remind you that um, your document preferences and your doc all your document setup is right over here under the file menu your um, vector works preferences are here under options um, if you want to change any of your markers and line thicknesses that's all right here and then our workspaces are right below options under the tools menu um, this is where you decide which workspace you want to work in and we're going to be working in the designer workspace okay well I think that's probably enough to get us started I just didn't want you to stress out over you know why yours looks different than mine by the time we get to the end of this project yours should look like mine hopefully it'll look better than mine um, there's lots of bells and whistles lots of things that we can do uh, to our 3d drawing to really make it pop so um, we'll be uh, We'll be looking into those techniques as we go along. All right, well, off to our, our first tutorial, um, and have fun.